In this tutorial, we will show the general functionality of the CESA tool without going into detail on each of the options. Please choose one of the three more specific diagram tutorials to really learn how each of the functional areas work. When you click on the diagram button in a new assessment, you will see the screen as shown here. To start, we will create a very simple diagram. First, we will add a zone with a moderate assurance level. Go to the Diagram Symbols docking window, click on the Zone pane, and drag the zone icon onto the drawing area. After creating the zone, we need to enter properties. In the Diagram Properties window, we will select the zone type by choosing Plant System in the list box. We now type Area 51 in the label. We will leave the cell and the layer fields as they are. To see more space on the diagram, we can zoom out by using the mouse wheel or the zoom functionality under the diagram tab. Using the scroll bars, we can adjust the position of the item within the diagram window. We can also drag the item to a new location. We will now add new components to our diagram. We will first add a firewall. Followed by a router, and then an engineering workstation. We'll add tags, but leave the defaults in the other fields. To connect the diagram components, you must draw connector lines. Click on the component where the connector line is to start. Point to the centered dot, which is the start of the line. Drag the mouse pointer to the next component and release the mouse pointer on the center dot. If you make an error, simply click on the line to select it and press the keyboard delete button. Notice the red numbered circle that appeared when you connected the plant firewall. This indicates that there is a basic concern with the network diagram. Click the red circle to open a message box explaining what is wrong. This would be a good time to save our work. To do so, go to the Export Import tab and select Export Diagram. This saves only the diagram. If we had answered questions or entered other assessment information, it would not be saved with the diagram. To save that type of input, use the Save Assessment option found under the File menu. Building a diagram from scratch like this is fine for a small network. For a large, complex network, CSET provides templates that you can modify. Templates are predefined diagrams for specific industries or sectors. You can also create a new template, save it, and share it with industry associations or within your own organization. We will select the PCS or Process Control System template. This warning message reminds you that you will lose all data associated with the current diagram when you load a new one. This means that any answers, comments, and files associated with the component questions are also lost. In a real assessment, we recommend saving your assessment to a backup file before proceeding. Let's take a look at some of the other tools in the diagram. To see an inventory of all the items contained in the diagram, Click the Diagram Inventory button. This list is editable. Changes you make here will appear on the diagram. CSET provides layering capabilities. To create a new layer, 
we can use the Manage Layers form. Simply enter the layer name, click the Add Layer button, and then click OK. You can change layers for individual objects or for groups. To demonstrate, we will change the layer associated with the corporate zone. Then we will change its visibility. We can embellish the diagram with shapes and text. First, we will turn the remote layer back on. And then we will drag a rectangle onto the diagram. We will now add text to the shape. You can always change added text by double-clicking on it. Change the text attributes by using the Format menu options. This approach to changing the text string also works for component labels. To add freeform text, use the text tool found under the diagram menu. Other options under the diagram menu include tools to add zones, control the zoom, and options to turn grid lines and Snap 2 options on and off. The Edit options allow you to cut, copy, paste, and delete selected components or groups of items. The Undo and Redo buttons can be used for most, but not all, diagram actions. To see the diagram in a maximized window, we can close the docking windows. We can also minimize the toolbar by clicking the right mouse button in an empty space on the ribbon. This brings up a Minimize Toolbar box. Clicking the checkbox minimizes the toolbar. However, it can still be used by clicking on one of the menu choices. This concludes the general overview of the new CSET diagramming functionality.